Welcome back, everyone. The Amazing Race is entering its 30th. 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 It's a good season. show. I love it on CBS, and it shows <laughs> no signs of slowing down as a fan favorite. It's such a nail biter. But love for it. the 30th race around the world, this edition is boasting some of the most competitive, most accomplished teams to ever join the race. And joining us live via satellite right now, we're so excited. The show's host, Phil Kogan. Phil, good morning from Cincinnati. I understand you're starting in Belgium tonight on the show. Is that right? Well, actually, uh, we head to Belgium tonight. We, we, start, in, we start in Iceland. Uh, oh. Our first episode left New York City, went to Iceland. They raced through Iceland. Um, we had the most dramatic finish we've ever had on The Amazing Race. I mean, it came down to literally a foot. We've never had a finish like that, <laughs> ever. In the, in the 30 seasons of Amazing Race on any leg, we've never had a finish like that. It ended with an elimination, and, and uh, tonight the teams will be flying from Iceland, and they will be going to Belgium. And it is Belgium. It's one of my favorite episodes. Uh, it's so beautiful. Uh, expect to see some chocolates, some diamonds, and also our first ever head-to-head uh, on the amazing race where teams will be going head to head in order to determine ha whether they can continue racing. Oh, cool. uh, I love it. I love it. Let me take you back just for a second. Go all the way back to season one and now you're sitting here on season 30. Would you ever A, have imagined that was going to happen and B, how much has it changed? How much is it the same? Well, um, yeah, it's a really good question. Uh, I never, no, I never imagined that I would be talking to Sheila and Bob in Cincinnati, Ohio, <laughs> uh, which watches more reality than any other state in America. Yes. Um, I did no, I, I never imagined that at all. Um, and and uh, I, I, I did not imagine that the show would have changed as much as it has, but technology in the world has changed tremendously. Uh, first of all, we went from standard definition to high definition, which <laughs> is a big you know, change in itself. Yeah. And look at the evolution of cell phones since we started uh, 17 years ago and today. So yeah, there's been a lot of changes in the world, but I think fundamentally the amazing race is still the same. And that's why people keep tuning in, thankfully. Since these Cincinnati people just love the amazing race so much, can you give us a little, a little hint or a little tease about maybe something we haven't <laughs> seen before that happens this season, Phil? Well, the head to head I did tell you about. I mean, I, 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 you know, I haven't told anybody about that except for Bob and Sheila from Cincinnati. <laughs> I love um, it. So that's a new thing. Uh, but, but there's also uh, there's also a, a, a potential partner swap coming uh, down the road, um, and that will really change things up. Uh, new destinations, of course. We have a new country destination in Bahrain, which is, uh, and I'm trying to give you a little accent there. Um, <laughs> which is in the Middle East. Uh, we love going to new and different places and sharing those new and different places with our, with our viewers. And this season, on paper, no doubt, the most competitive cast we've ever had before. And I, what I love about it, I believe you guys spoke to Joey Chestnut, the great yes. you know, hot dog eater. I was going to bring him up, 70, yes. Yeah, 72 hot dogs in 10 minutes or something crazy <laughs> like that. I mean, the guy is a crazy eater. How is that even possible? Um, but, uh, yeah, a really dynamic cast, really competitive cast. Um, Joey, uh, Joey Chestnut's very good at eating hot dogs. He's not really that good at running from point A to point B. <laughs> I think his hot dogs have slowed him down. Uh, he's, That's great. He, uh, he's, he's not a hot dog when it comes to running. He's more of a slow dog, I would say. <laughs> um, yeah, he... <laughs> But, uh, but an interesting character nonetheless, and then we have some NBA All-Stars, we have some race car drivers, there's some extreme uh, skiers, people who save people's lives on a day-to-day -day basis as lifesavers. We have some firefighters who are twins who are constantly bickering at each other because one was born before the other. So a great cast, and, and tonight... I'd love you to join us in Belgium. We will. Can't wait to check it out. We know you've had a lot of people talk to you today. We appreciate you taking some time with us this morning, Phil, very much. Cheers, Phil. Thanks. <laughs> All right, thank you. That was great. That was. All right.